Jumbo guys well back at it again today I'm working on my car I got my air compressor and today I'm working on my brakes so if you ever have problems with your brakes feeling soft that you have to now it's hard like you have to step on it a bunch of times like you're pumping it it's because you have air in your line and you gotta get it out so just came from advanced auto parts got me my brake fluid and i'm about to go bleed out my brakes so i will show you how i do it uh, sorry for it but i'm using one hand to do all this right there so I will open up and basically it's contaminants on your brake lines so this is my brake fluid and hmm, how do I get this out so well I went on eBay and bought me a brake bleeder thing so this is what I got vacuum brake fluid bleeder very cheap it was like twenty dollars and I invested in a vacuum uh, air compressor cause I will be doing a lot of work on my car I invested in that that was like a hundred and thirty four dollars and uh, since I'm gonna take out my lug nuts a lot invested in that so pretty much I'm gonna be working on my car I need something that will like not break my back or really exert too much you know which I got that too but on top of that I do have my electrical uh, battery operated um, let me see okay that and what is this other one the impact gun works really good but since I have my air compressor I will use that so let me get everything together and I'll be back to show you all right so first of all we're gonna jack up our car gonna use my new jack I got my uh what's it called impact air impact wrench hooked up got my jack stands ready and uh we're gonna lift up the car take out two tires out and go from there then i'll show you how to connect the other one all right just put on my gloves so it doesn't get too messy but i jacked up the car it's already on jack stands and I'm about to take off the tires, so let's see. Ah! Oops, forgot. Let me get the lug nut. Where are you? Let me get my toolbox out. Nice, trusty old toolbox. Got it from Walmart. Really, really nice. So here we go. For this car, it's a, uh, let me see, 1316, 1316 right there, okay, put it in, excuse me, I'm doing it with one hand, put it in right there, no, let me, it's time to take it out, so lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, let me take it all the way to the left, there we go, then, Take out the tire. Like that. Take this. So I will skip the video until I'm done with all four, then I'll be back. 
all right guys now i have the all two tires off um on both sides i got the tires off so for a later project i will want to repaint these wheels to something at least this being my daily driver i want it to look a little bit presentable so we're gonna hook up these are the brake bleeder lines right here so this is what i got to hook up to that this right here this contraption let me open it up as so excuse the video quality i'm trying to use my phone that so let's see how this goes we are going to put these okay this one goes to this oh let me come back right there so this one goes into this one right here that opening goes in there as so let me get it in there with one hand oh hold on, hold on. so and it's two sides so it'll make work easier so since I'm doing front and back both make it faster so since this side is more light so that goes see that there that goes in there right there then I'll take my and break those open break those loose so that I can come and get that. Let me get the other part. This part right there. Okay, that's a valve. So this part. This part goes to this, like so. And I will tighten it. So let me tighten it. All right. For my car, it's going to be... Uh, let me focus that right there to break loose that. So we're going to put it right there, in there. Oh, oh, too much, too much, too much. Hold on. It's leaking already. So put it in there. <clears throat> like so then kind of break it loose a bit so i know it's loose so i'm gonna do for the other side first all right so we already got some fluid movement as you can see right there gravity is taking its part right there and i'm gonna take my air tool detach this part and attach it to that part right there huh look at that it's already coming through by itself awesome we're gonna suction it until we see no air bubbles we're gonna suction it hold on something is not right huh okay see we have to keep an eye on this side doesn't get too low and at the same time we do the suctioning until there's no bubbles at all so i'm gonna keep an eye on that all right i saw the two valve thing was kind of not working right so i just hooked up the single valve and as of right now since it's a clear fluid I'm just letting gravity do its work and I'm waiting until all these air bubbles right here clears out from the system. 
so then when that clears out i will tighten that brake bleeder valve and it'll be good to go so now right now it's a clear fluid I like that that shows it's clean fluid and you see how all that dirty residue that's what we do not want so we'll let that flow a bit let gravity do its work you see it's moving slowly into the container that's what we want until that becomes a consistent flow and at the same time, we're keeping an eye on the level. You don't want that to go way too low. So it's right there. So that's good. We have our excess extra. And that's what I will do with all four sides of the car. Then in a later video, I will change the brake rotors. You see the way they're worn out? That's not good at all. At all. At all. Not good. So... Right now, I'm really trying to work on the stiffness of the brakes. That's my main concern. Then we'll go from there. But thank you for watching and keep tuned for the other video. Hi, guys, again. Well, so I'm done with the brake flush. And you see how this is like dark. This is how you do not want it to be. Let me show you clearly. Let me open it up. All right. After, if you're doing a brake system, you do not definitely want it to be this dark color. It has to be clear. So, yeah, my brakes were definitely my brake lines were definitely contaminated, but as of right now, they are really, they're really good. So, yep, yeah, that was actually a good job with that little thingy for where I got it from eBay so stay tuned for the next video don't forget to like and subscribe until later I'll see you next time